Hello everyone. Today, I just have one simple question for you. Do you want to turn an interior like this into something like this? Well now, this is the exact video for you. Now in order to do this, I'm going to be doing two interiors today. This one, and this one. So we have a big build, and a small shop interior build. Might even include a few other ones, you know, just because I'm into that kind of thing. And for this first build, joining me, I have a glass sand pane. Say hello. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Yes, this is going to be great. Uh, make sure you <laughs> check her out on her channel. I will link it down below. <laughs> now let's get right into this fire station video. Okay, so I'm doing this mumbo jumbo style where I talk over the time lapse and try to tell you guys what I'm doing exactly. So, as you can see here, I'm just starting on the walls first off because... Well, it's the most important thing to know exactly where your rooms and boundaries are going to be, including inside the ceilings and such. Uh, I was, I could add a second floor to this still, but for time's sake, I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, as you can see right now, I'm about to be adding some lockers and such to um, the little fire station, as well as desks in the background. And last but not least, uh, along with the other little my tiny details that I'll explain in a second, uh, I'm also adding some armor stands, just to spice it up just a little bit more. Okay, so, we did a little bit more than what the time-lapse actually showed, only because, you know, I want to give a slightly better um, explanation for some of the things I decided to do with this build. So, uh, first off, left this relatively open, might park one more fire truck here a little bit later, but there's gonna be some on the road, obviously. So not every fire truck will be in here, so it's understandable. And um, <clears throat> there uh, there's gonna be gear on the wall uh, in a bit. Uh, I forgot to add that. That's why this guy's just you know stationary. And uh, these are supposed to be, if I can talk, these are supposed to be the vending machines, by the way. But a little bit hard to get that across in Minecraft. And I don't want to go overboard with the armor stands and uh, item frames because. I know some of you guys don't have all that fancy luxury things right there. And over here, uh, once again, a little standard like computer section. Uh, you can also add like pressure plates and uh, stone buttons to be the mouse and keyboards. I didn't do that this time. And we got the lockers and such. And also, you might be wondering, it looks a little empty in here, Betel. Well, it's also important to keep in mind that um, you want your builds to be like filled, but you don't want them like overly filled if that makes sense at least in my opinion because then at that point you'll get to the because then you get the mindset of okay i need every single one of my builds to be really filled which i don't think you need it in most of your builds but having some like this is a perfect example of a room uh minus the zombie of course die okay but this is like i would call this a pre for a build this size and importance i would call this a good uh amount of fillage uh, minus those two over there because I didn't decorate them. Uh, this is the bottom floor of my uh, CEO tower. No, sorry, it's the only floor practically. But a building of this importance would be a little more filled out. And as you can see, minus the horses, it actually is way more filled out and way more decorated compared to the fire station. But that's also because it's more cramped. It's more close quarters compared to that. So depending on the situation of your build, if it's an office building or something, or if it's like the the lobby of a floor, if you have a multiple story building like I do, you want the lobby floors to be more, uh, how can I put this, more like cramped kind of, but more like welcoming, which I think this is probably like my best job yet at doing that. Whereas if you have something like, uh, I'll fly over here real fast. If you have something like, this is another lobby I did. Once again, same vibe. Ignore the amount of armor stands though. This one was pretty armor stand abusive. That's what these cookie balloons are in this. But if you have something like this, you want the lobby to feel a little more cramped, but like welcoming. And then you go to the actual apartments upstairs and then, you know, it's laid out how you want it or how the Scarians wanted it. That's a good example of a keyboard right there. You can go really crazy with those. That's a banner right there and a little bed. That's cool. But yeah. Uh, you want to know when you should crampify your interior. That's trash. You want to know when you should crampify your interiors and when you should really spread them out. Like, for something like this, once again, you spread it out. 
Uh, I'm trying to find like a good example. Let me go. Oh, here's a good example. Like this is like a cramp of homey feel. There's multiple ways you can do interiors in a city. However, now I know what you're thinking. Fatal, how do I decorate the small buildings? Well, that's where this comes in at because I've got three right here exactly that I'm going to be doing, all three of these. Uh, starting off with this one, which already has an interior, as you can see, the shelving and stuff. This one I'll explain in a second. And uh, we got, oh, it's a four mode. These two, which are both empty. However, real fast, I want to point this out. There is lights in here, believe it or not. However, I want to show you now you should actually be playing with your lighting. Because so ever since 1.18, hostile mobs need exactly uh, light level zero to spawn in. So you can play with your lighting. The vibe of this shop, by the way, it's going to be like a bit of a voodoo shop. Because that's what the person wanted. So I wanted a darker feel. And we got little jungle-ish vibes in here, as you can see. How cool is that? But playing with the lighting, I feel like makes it way more like ominous in here. Might even include like try to include at least the, oh wait by the way next update there's this thing called copper bulbs that are coming out so pretty soon this will be a vanilla ish feature you can't go exactly like light level one with them but they do lose light as they age so that will for sure be useful to the bedrock players and people who don't play modded however try playing with your lighting by that you can either hide it in walls or in corners farther away from uh where you want the darker darker areas to be however for now um, I'm using the cheaty cheaty light mod, so that's how I'm doing it. However, uh, right now, let's just decorate this area, and I'll explain my choices as I go. But as you can see, got all the shelves right now, and now we have it like this. All right, so I know I said I didn't want to use as many armor stands as I uh, would like. However, uh, here we are, a bunch of armor stands, as you can see. Now I tried using as much vanilla stuff as possible. Uh, now then, a uh, really important thing to remember when making interiors. Now, and I'll lean in close for this one, guys. Always remember to uh, like make sure you know what your theme is of your said build slash shop. So since this was a voodoo shop or magic shop, as you can see, I went for a lot of well the ter the glazed terracottas, which are criminally underused, by the way, and uh, nether plants, uh, brewing tables, and also the red nether warts. Which I wish you could put stuff on, you can't put stuff on top of them, but you can't put at the roots, which I hate. Anyway, it's not the point. And uh, as you can see, we've got a lot of voodoo dolls hanging around, including a good looking, this good looking guy right here. Very good quality. Anyways, I am glad how this one came out, but I'm going to do one now with this is the least amount of armor stands possible. And uh, by this, I mean, we're going to use player heads, which I'm pretty sure you can use on Bedrock. And if you're building a city, then let me just say, uh, if you want your cities to actually have life, I, I picked like the deadest street in my city, hang on. Uh, and, oh, now you can see better. If you want your cities to have life, I highly, highly recommend you have either an armor stand mod or at least a player head mod, which I'm pretty sure Bedrock should have both at this point, but they do wonders for making your city feel alive and not like a ghost town and speaking of that if you want armor stand guides feel free to let me know if it's something i've been you know, i've been tinkering a little armor standing from time to time you know you can do so much with these bad boys but we're not going to do much with them this time in this next build so we're going to keep it a little more vanilla shall we so when i said a simpler shop here it is we have a movie store I know, amazing. We got epic movie titles such as Horse the Movie, Enough Horsing Around, and Horse 2, You're So Hungry You Can Eat a What? I have no idea. And we also got the epic, these are popular titles by the way on both these sides. We got the Fish Trilogy, You Won't Take Carp From Anyone, and Never Saw Fish That Coming, the, the trilogy that is, as well as a few other stupid little miscellaneous titles, as well as hallmark trash bin which this does look like uh those you find a walmart like the b-list celebrity movies you know there's like 500 of them and they're usually all garbage i don't know why i said garbage like that but most importantly of all we have myself my number one fan saying 10 copies of Beto the movie please by martin scorsese 
I probably and it's movie of the month. Oh wait, hang on, my bad. Uh, oh, my bad again. Yeah, it's better. I was gonna say movie of the ever, because I mean, what's topping Beetle the movie? I'll tell you what's topping it though. The next episode, because this is all the video time I have left for today. <clears throat> if you appreciated uh, my, well, explanation. Oh wait, explanations. I did a bad job explaining things, didn't I? Oh well, <laughs> it's the thought that counts. See you guys in the next video. It's gonna be something big, trust me.